breaking news alert. Now to that breaking news from overseas, an Egypt air flight vanishes, and this morning the airline says it appears that plane has gone down in the Mediterranean Sea. Johnny Fernandez is following the up-to-the-minute developments in this, and Johnny, we just got word in the last two hours, searchers may have received a signal from that jet. Yeah, Kirsten, that's what investigators are trying to figure out right now. Airline officials say rescue crews did detect a distress signal in that area that could have been from the plane. But in the last couple of hours, Egypt's military says it did not receive any signal. Now, here's what we do know. The Egypt air flight was flying from Paris to Cairo when it vanished from radar late last night. The jet was flying at 37,000 feet in good weather at the time. And we know 66 people were on board. That includes 56 passengers and 10 crew members. As searchers begin their work to find this jet, members of the media descended on the airport in Paris, but those ticket counters were empty overnight. Meanwhile, we know that this jet is an Airbus A320, a very common plane flown by airlines around the world and one of nearly a dozen that the, that's in the company's fleet. Now, experts say a controlled landing on the water is survivable, but in this case, that doesn't appear to be what happened. There is a possibility of survivability if, if you know the airplane was ditched in the water uh, and passengers were able to uh, survive the ditching however you know when you have an airplane um, disappear at that altitude with no radio calls doesn't really make sense for a ditching scenario Again, that surge continuing right now to try and find the jet in the Mediterranean Sea. The airline says it's also providing help to the passengers' families at the airport in Cairo. Of course, we're going to be staying on top of the story, and we will bring you any new information as it comes in. Justin. All right, Johnny, thanks so much.